Hello and welcome, this is Noah with Nomad Gaming, and thank you for joining us for this video about the Marvel Champions LCG. Marvel Champions is a living card game, produced and distributed by Fantasy Flight Games. If you're looking for a place to see more Marvel Champions strategy, deck building, and of course gameplay, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications to keep up to date with our channel. Today's deck tech features a look at the alternative build of our latest hero, Black Widow. Pairing Black Widow with the protection aspect gives us a grip of great options and supports heroic play. So let's take a look and see what we have. This deck does use our new hero, Black Widow. In alter ego form, she draws cards to help us set up our board presence, and in hero form, she dishes out the damage with high efficiency. Her aspect cards add to her utility and play a huge role in driving this deck. A quick overview of what we are playing with here, Winter Soldier might be the best ally in the game. He is very often free and with up to 4 activations can really carry a lot of weight. Covert Ops and Dance of Death are late game all-stars. This preparation suite is simply lethal. Attacrobatics packs a double punch by canceling boost icons and then dealing it back as damage. Grappling Hook is straight treachery cancellation which we all love to play. And Widow's Bite packs a punch that we need to buy us time when it gets us our engine rolling. Supported by Safehouse 29 and Synth Suit, things look really good. Synth Suit is a key to this protection build. The plus one defense and the ability to ready are both very relevant and make this deck work. For a more detailed discussions of these signature cards and the Black Widow expansion, take a look at our hero review which should be linked on the screen now. Diving into the aspect and basic cards, we are bringing a huge pile of upgrades to the table. This is going to hurt if we see Taskmaster or if someone else is playing Iron Man, i.e. Whiplash, but they do give us the ability to thin our deck for value and prove to be very useful. Although Armored Vest has a one per player limit, we are going to run the full three. We need this early so that we can start defending with Black Widow as soon as possible. One of my favorite cards from the expansion pack is Defensive Stance. It is kind of a plus three defense, but it can also stop damage from direct damage treacheries. It is a preparation and we're gonna play three copies, so don't be afraid to activate this liberally to preserve our health. Endurance is a little bit of a filler, but it has good value. And I've previously claimed that Energy Barrier might be one of the best cards in the aspect, if not the game. I am still on that hype train, so three more copies of this are going into the deck. We have a mix of basic preparations from Black Widow's pack, and I learned I leaned one heavier onto Espionage for general deck build, but if you're playing against something with particularly nasty and frequent boost effects like Claw at any level, I would swap the numbers here and go with three target acquired and two Espionage. Looking at our allies, we are going to run Nova with the intent that he stay on the table for long-term value. We are going to do a lot of defending with our hero so he can sit back and ping away at the attacking enemies. Mockingbird is here for repeatable stun, and Nick Fury is both big value and a big trap. It is tough to pass on this card draw, but if you have you have to be really shrewd. I mean, you just have to think really hard and make a good decision in the early game about whether you're going to play this for the redraw or you're going to play the other cards that are in your hand for the value. In the mid to late game, Fury is going to shine. He sometimes is going to be a blocker that can dole out damage or threat. And don't forget that he has those two other options when you play him in case you really do just need to take some threat or an enemy off the table. With all the defending, we might need a hero in. We might need a hero mode heal or two, and so because of that, we run a brace of med team. This also has the plus of being able to heal Nova and Winter Soldier late in the game. The deck can get really thin, so feel free to use these freely and expect to replay them. But don't prioritize playing them over something that's going to progress you towards victory, like damage or threat. Those outrank this on the value spectrum. Yeah, that's not an error. We don't have any events from the aspect or basic pools in this deck. We're going to look for Covert Ops and Dance of Death to bring us home. I did want to keep the slide in though because I think the background's pretty cool, right? No surprises on the resource side. We've got two powers plus the three basics. They have their value, so they keep their place. And here's the full deck list. We're going to put a link for this in the description below as well. The deck only requires the Corset, Miss Marvel, and Black Widow expansions, so it's fairly easy to acquire. 
As far as basic strategy goes, we are looking to churn through early turns to set up a web of preparations, and then we will aggressively trigger those preparations to manage the board and progress the game. Look for your key upgrades in your starting hand. Gauntlets and Synth Suit are necessary early game plays. It is fair to aggressively mulligan for the suit because there's not a lot of re or because there is a lot of redundancy in your other cards, but there's nothing that makes up for that readying plus the extra defense. Uh, try to stick Nova on the board early. Use him to clean up minions as they attack. Remember the, to deal your single point of damage when you trigger your preparations while you're in hero mode. That damage really adds up over time and it gives you a lot of value by peeling off a tough or two and maybe even adding that extra point of damage to let Nova finish something off. Um, I'm not afraid to jump over to Alter Ego for a rebuilding turn, especially after Safe House hits the table. It gives us a lot of extra value. Uh, we can use Covert Ops to create a window for this and take advantage of the card draw and larger hand size uh, to flood the table with our upgrades and get things reset. And that does it for this week's Deck Tech, folks. Uh, let us know how you have enjoyed this video by subscribing and hitting the like button. Let me know what you think of the build. Where would you tweak things? How would you build Black Widow with protection? Give this deck a run through in your favorite heroic scenario and let me know what you think. And stay tuned for new content, and as always, let's go game!